Okay, guys, that was kind of weird, so let's go. <laughs> uh, is it here? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, damn it! Oh, damn it. Bitch. Evolve. That's one thing down. Holy crap, man. I thought that thing was literally gonna fall on my ass. Oh, what is this? Oh, good. Oh, a flare gun? Nice. Let's see, why can't you... Why can't you have, like, the 9mm and the nail gun? Like, instead of the flare gun, why don't you have, like, um... Oh, hang on. It's over here. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. Bitch. Where is it? There it is. That's two. Just one more to go. Yep, right over here. Oh, I can't see it. There we go. Flares, yes. You can. Okay, with our right bumper. Oops. There we go. Is it in here? Damn it, it's locked. Ugh, oh, he still can't climb. <laughs> Damn it! What? What's that? Oh! That is weird. That's kind of cool. New enemies to face now. That was just messed up. Not trust me, bro. It is. Pick up CD. Oh! The man just found the battery. Tells me I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. Need to be recharged. Select the weapon. Okay, I'm picking the uh, the carbon. Nice. Let's see how this goes. Okay, let's head back to the the oil, whatever the hell the oil rig. Ugh. Oh, manuscript. Yes. Good. After this, guys, I'm gonna try that. Uh. What is it? Uh, Survive till dawn. You nudge it into the right direction. Your version of it is there, waiting. It wants to come true. All you need to do is help it achieve its potential. The devil is in the details. You change the details of the scene to match those on the page. If you get the details right, if you achieve that critical mass, the shift will come, and the rest of your new reality overrides the existing paradigm. The lie, no matter how outrageous, is now the truth. Hell yeah! Nice. Okay, let's go. Damn, man, new weapons, man. We got a nail gun. We got a UZ. Freaking. We have uh, the carbon rifle. We have the nine millimeter. I don't know why I call it that. I'm just gonna call it a pistol. How's that? Just to make you guys happy. I'm gonna call it a pistol. Okay, you're here. There she is. I need this battery charged. No problem. You know what I'll do? I'll head over. Yeah. Thanks. Here. Uh, is it still here? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to try the UZ guys. But let me talk to her real quick. 
Listen, I don't know what's going to happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near It means my dick's big. Alright? <laughs> Things can get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable material. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? Oh, sure. Yes. What's up with this? What, what the hell's that? What is this? That was a flare. I thought it was another manuscript. I was just saying, man. I'm just being... Let me look back here. Oh, radio. Well, here you are. About to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the book. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was a kid then, but my dad worked at this club. Me in the seat huh, the some left their beers. Talk about an education. Anyway, great band, couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. Well, let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. They're some serious rock and roll veterans, because they weren't too young even back in the day. Well, now I've got Odin and Tor Anderson, two of the original old gods, in the studio with me, along with their manager, Barry Wheeler. Nice to have you guys here. Oh, hey, great to be here, Eddie. What? Hello! Now, boys, Barry. let me just come around and say this, all right? Free chickens, you ain't. <laughs> I mean, you guys make the stones look young. <laughs> you old is old as you feel. Who do you call me old? <laughs> now, your last album was 1978, In the Valley of My Shadow. And then you stopped playing all together after that. Why? And what made you do a comeback after all this time? Well, <laughs> it was a sad thing. See, the original bass player for Old Gods, Fat Bob Balder, passed away in Lucidia. Bob had Lucidia. Okay. I'm done listening to it. Okay. Let's just head over there. Yep, I see it. Hang on, there's a light over here. Oh, that's a car. Hang on. What a car? Okay, never mind. Oh, a shotgun? We've already seen a shotgun in uh, Alan Wake, so 